Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. In this video, I will show you the solutions to the physics questions of Paper 2 of JE Advanced 2015. I will solve the problems as they appear in Code 1. In this question, we are given a gas kept in a container and it is attached to the spring. Now, initially, the gas is at P1, V1 and T1 and finally, it is at P2, V2 and T2. The number of moles will remain constant. Right. So, initially the gas is at P1 and we are given that the spring is relaxed. That means there must be some gas in this area as well which would have a pressure the same as P1. Right. Or there could be some other mechanism by which maybe this, there could be friction within these two. So, there is an extra force P1 because when there is gas of pressure P1 inside, then the spring is relaxed. So, there must be something exerting this force in the opposite direction for this piston to remain in equilibrium. So, this is the initial case. Finally, we heat it and it becomes a P2, V2 and T2 and the spring gets compressed by a distance x. So, a spring is applying a force Kx towards the left, right. So, the net force applied towards the left will be Kx plus P1A. Let's say area is the, A is the area of cross section, right. And from this side, there would be P2A, right. And if this is in equilibrium now, that means P2A has to be equal to Kx plus P1A. This has to be true for any time. Now, this might be the first source of error for student. They might take that P2 is equal to P2A is equal to Kx, forgetting that initially the pressure was P1 and the spring was relaxed. So, there must be something applying pressure in the opposite direction. Now, we are given each option we will have to check separately. So, let us look at option A. In option A, we are given that V2 is equal to 2V1 and T2 is equal to 3T1. So, since the number of moles will remain constant, P1 V1 by T1 is equal to P2 into 2 V1 by 3 T1, which gives me P2 is equal to 3 by 2 T1. And we need to find the energy stored in the spring. So, this gives me Kx is equal to P2 minus P1, that is half of P1 times A, P1 A by 2. I multiply both sides by X. I multiply both sides by half, so because we need the energy stored in the spring that is half Kx square that is equal to Pax by 4. What is Ax? That is the change in volume. Let us say the piston initially was here and finally the piston, this is compressed to distance x, so the piston is moved. So, Pax by 4, Ax will be the change in volume, that is final volume minus initial volume, right? So, that will be 2V1 minus V1, so this will be equal to V1 which means 1 by 4 P1 V1 is the energy stored in this spring. So, the first option is correct. Option B requires us to calculate the change in internal energy. That is simply 3 by 2 Nr T2 minus T1, right? Internal energy is NCV delta T and we are given in the question that the gas is monoatomic, right? And T2 is equal to 3 T1 minus T1 to 2 T1, so we get 3 nr t1 which is equal to 3 p1 v1 so option b is correct as well now option c and d are for the same situation so let's calculate those we need to find the work done if v2 is equal to 3 v1 and t2 is equal to 4 t1 that means p1 v1 by t1 is equal to p2 3 v1 by 4 t1 which gives me P2 is equal to 4 by 3 P1, right. So, let us calculate the work done by the gas. At any time, the pressure in the gas will be P1 plus Kx. Kx is the pressure applied by this uh, P1A times Kx, sorry. P1A will be the force applied by whatever is applying the force which balanced it initially. Kx will be the extra force applied by the spring, right. So, the pressure will be P1 plus Kx by A. So, the net work done will be integral V1 to V2 PdV. So, that is P1 plus Kx by A times dV. So, the first term is P1 dV and dV is simply the change in volume V2 minus V1. V2 is 3 V1, so it will be 2 V1. So, the first term is 2 P1 V1 plus for the second term, we need the integral Kx by A. Now, dV I can write it as A dx and A and A will cancel. 
and x we know was zero initially because it was unstretched. Finally, let it be some value x. So this is equal to two p one v one plus half k x squared. What is half k x squared? We can calculate from here. We know k x is equal to p one by three times a. So k x squared is this half would be six. So one by six p one a x. A x is again change in volume, which would be two v one in this case. So we get p one v one by three, which is half k x squared. So the answer is seven p one v one by three, which is option C. Now to see option D, the heat supplied will be seven p one v one by three. That is the work done plus the change in internal energy. That will be three by two n r t two minus t one. That is three t one, or nine p one v one by two. We can see that this is not equal to seventeen p one v one by six, which is option D. So my correct answers in this question would be A, B, and C. Thank you.